Jimmy, we can't use that money. It's probably stolen. We didn't steal it, did we? No, but I bet that Carter fella did. And do you know who the other one was? The one dressed like a preacher. He's a swell fella. He gave me a buck. Yes, he's that awful gunman called the Deacon. I read about him in the paper. Hold it, what? Who is that back there? Look like Barker. This mom. He's a killer. Oh, you crazy, Sally. He's no more murder than Bob Blake was. Hello there. How are you, Clinty? And you, Sally? I've come for my answer, Sally. I can do a lot for you. And for the boy, too. If you only let me. Ooh. Jimmy! It's all right, Sally. We'll send him to school where they'll make a little uh, gentleman out of it. No. I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. I can't marry you. I don't love you. Don't be foolish, child. You don't want to move away from here, do you? But he loves you. And someday, he'll come back. No, and I won't move away from here either. Here's your money, Mr. Barker. Hooray, Abigail, sir. Where'd you get this money? Never mind where we got it from. We didn't ask you where you got yours when you loaded the park. Give us our note. You get back to the mine. I've got a little business to take care of. Alone. What about the interest? There isn't any interest. You loaned my father fifteen hundred and made him sign a note for two thousand. And we have papers to prove it. The note, please, Mr. Barker. Thank you, sir. I hope you aren't making a mistake, Sally. And here's the door, Mr. Walker, in case you forgot. And don't look back. Remember what happened to Lot's wife. You little devil, I'll wring your neck. Sitting there quiet like, and he comes in from behind and sticks a gun in my back and takes the dough. Well, what could I do? He had the drop on me. Well, I knew it was something crooked about that guy. Yeah, I knew it too. Well, what you gonna do about it? Hey, you boys get your rifles. And if he comes over the hill, ventilate him. But don't let him get close enough to use his gun. I'll stay here and plug him from the window if he comes up the canyon. Okay, buddy.
What's the matter, boy? You nervous? Uh, you're trying to shoot a rabbit. No, a rat. Well, what do you want with a rat? Shut up. Hey. Sir? What happened to Lot's wife? Lot's wife? Oh, you mean the lady in the Bible? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, she done turned to salt. You see, she lived in a town of soda. So she married a fella by the name of Lot. Now, why they call him Lot? was cause he had a lot of dough and a lot of sheep and everything. <laughs> so she started traveling around with a fella from Sonora. Now that's where Salt Lake is now. Well, she started traveling around with him and the neighbors started scandalizing and going on. Y you, you know how they do, see? So she's on her way home and just as she started out, one of the neighbors said, honey, so your husband is looking for you. And she got scared cause she knew she's traveling around on her husband, see? And she started running. And she started running down the street, and just as she got two blocks away from where she was, it started raining. And the rain started pouring down. It rained 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, man, it was cold. And she kept on running and looking back. So she got tired, seeing she got to a place, and she sat down, called herself going to rest. And you know she couldn't move? She sat right there and couldn't move. She hadn't turned to no stones or nothing like that, but she done turned to salt. And the water kept on getting up on her, and, and it kept on melting her, and kept on melting her, and it melted. And she got that little low until it washed her away. See, and when the water washed her away, that's how come the lake is salty. Brother, you'd better take another look at your body. You looking for someone? Who, me? Oh. No. No, what's the bill? No, sir. He just said he was aiming to shoot a rat. I thought you might be the least bit sore about this. What's the... Hey, what's the idea? It's all right, fellas. I had the pair here all wrong. Look, Deacon's a great guy. Me and him's gonna be partners, ain't we? Sure, Butch. <laughs> when I get back east, I'm going to make you my Western representative. Come on, boys. We've got a little work to do. See you later, Deacon. Look at them high-tailed on the run. I wonder what they up to. I don't know. But now's our chance. Come on. 